Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. With my 10 mile run yesterday, I had to leave and go run early before my mind woke up and told me, don't be stupid and go on a long run after you just did a run. So I had to get out before I really started my day. But heading home now. All right, I'm home, I'm showered, time to make me some breakfast. Sarah is editing the vlog, I got brewed a pot of coffee. There's a new show on Netflix called Nadia's Time to Eat and I am obsessed with it. Almost nothing, like everything she makes is halal, but nothing, almost no, I don't think I've seen, I don't only think I've seen a few things that would be vegan for us. Obviously we can take it and like make vegan variations, but like I just think it's a really well produced food show and I'm loving watching it. But I wanted to show you my little like brunch I'm making real quick. So we got a cup of joe with our Splash Mountain mug. Gonna make some quick oats with some almond milk. I don't think we have any little fruit for me to put in, but then I'm gonna make a little hummus and spinach wrap with a little zing of cilantro on there. The important thing, now that we're adding miles, that I'm like consistently running, I've done 19 runs since we decided to run for or the World Marathon, I'm gonna have to start consistently putting in probably around 30, around 30 miles a week for the next couple months before we up that even more. So the important thing, people, a lot of people think like, oh, you're gonna lose weight running, and the thing is you don't, I think you either run to lose weight or you run to do a form of competition or challenge. And because I'm doing an endurance challenge, my goal isn't to lose weight. My goal is to properly fuel myself. So like hummuses, carbohydrates, those things, but not too much of it is what I need to keep it so I, my body can recover and be fueled for the next, say 10, 15, 20, five mile, three mile, one block run the next day. We'd like to welcome to the vlog today, Sarah Brookhart and Eve Brookhart. <clears throat> I'd like to say that I'm very low-key when it comes to breakfasty, snicky snack stuff, and trail mix has been my savior when I don't have a big appetite these days, but I need all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. You ready for live stream? Yeah. I just had a lot of trail mix, and I was very happy, and that's why <laughs> I wanted to tell you. <laughs> and peanut butter toast. Good. We should look into like almond butter and different types of butter and fancify yeah. my toast a little bit. So you don't get also creeped out by and anything I got the same tropical thing. Juice. You had a kind of a zesty breakfast there. Yeah, I'm easy to please. <laughs> okay, got it. So you ready for the live? I got like half the vlog done. Nice. Yeah. Good. Let's do this live. Our live stream went well, but when sometimes things go well, we get hungry. And when we get hungry sometimes. We order market on south. And this is the thing. We still want to support local businesses. And we haven't been able to go because we're done with our fertility specialist. So. So we're celebrating just life. Yeah. Sarah's not sold on her item that she's getting. I'm getting a salad and a holiday hot dog. Yeah, they have a hot dog vegan, like a vegan hot dog cart there. They have a holiday dog, which is fried onions, Carolina BBQ, cranberry, a of sandwich. orange chutney, and parsley. Sarah's getting a Cajun pole boy with buffalo mac, and she should get a, what do we call it just now? <sighs> Baruca? That means Puerto Rican. Oh, fried onions, cheese, banana peppers, garlic, aioli, ketchup. So money, a Puerto Rican, especially one living in the United States. I'm going to order this and get going over there, and Sarah's going to finish editing the vlog. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. At the light, turn right onto North Mills Avenue. I want to show this truck again, but it's looking extra good and almost fresh. So Market on South, as we said, is actually a market of the Dixie Dharma and the Hala Bakery. It's like, here's the actual truck that they bring to do like remote work. But I literally walked in right as they were packaging it. Walked in, they said, Peter, right? And I said, yeah. So here you go. Look at this. I love it. There's a small air, airport right over there that has like all the single engine planes. It's super fun to sit out here and eat and watch it. There's, plus this one I think is, I forgot what expressway, but that's, it's not I-4, but it's an expressway. But looking good and fancy. Look at that sleeping mouse. Not mouse, possum maybe. There we go. Love it. We're open. 
I never had a dream come true till the day I found you. Did you get an extra dog? You got it. I didn't think we got it. Oh my word. Pickle boy, right? Mm hmm. Well, it's not a pickle boy, it's a. Asian There's my salad. Wow. <laughs> but manja. Alrighty, so I finished the vlog and getting it all situated and whatnot. Um, gonna take a break from, well, the computer screen and we're gonna relax for a little bit and watch prop culture before we do other stuff. This has been a productive weekend, even though we've been like making sure we react, relax. It's been a good productive weekend. All right, yeah, this series just dropped. Oh no, just dropped a couple days ago. Look at this. I feel like Sarah and I are gonna end up watching this, what's out right now, cause there's only, season one is eight episodes. I feel like we're gonna end up watching it very quickly. Mary Poppins, Tron, Nightmare, Pirates, Honey, I the Kids, Chronicles of Narnia, Who Friends Are and the Muppets. First up, Mary Poppins. Mid episode, Christina called. Funny enough, she was the one who told me about this big old cup. It arrived in the mail. I think it's 24 ounces. Um, but my doctor said I should be trying to drink like a gallon of water a day, and I thought this would make it easier and keep my drink cold. So there it is. I had that other cup I got from Target, but I broke both of them. This is hopefully going to last, and it's bigger, so. I don't know if I'm battling Sunday-itis, and Sarah's battling technology I'm overload. Battling screen time. So we're not taking a nap, we're just chilling with some music for 30 minutes before we get to work, because I feel like this weekend's been full of like productivity. Yeah. And we need to enjoy the weekend. So for 30 minutes, we're gonna chill, not take a nap, just chill on the couch, listen to some music in this nice, cozy home we have, and then get to work on the fun. Like, it's all More fun stuff. Marathon. More World Marathon stuff. More World Marathon stuff, but she's working on the book. I'm going to work on the video. And we're going to FaceTime the Earhearts later. And we're FaceTime the FaceTime the Earhearts later. She barely made it anywhere. She also got sap on her paw somehow. This is what happens when it's above 85 degrees and sunny. The girl is pampered. What do you see? What do you, where's Sarah go? Hey girl. Found her. All right, so we, how, that was like two hours, wasn't it? What time did it's we start? 11, I have no idea. What time did they, they text us? They texted us at eight o'clock. Oh, <laughs> three, let's almost see. three hours. We just got off Facetime with Ben and Carolyn. They called at like just before nine. Just before so nine. Like so two almost and a, two and a half. Almost hours. Almost two and a half hours. Um, so before that, no, though, we, we, we did a lot so of working much. on. Sarah finished up pretty much everything for the ACS book. We need to like stage how we want because like acs has their own tiers of like what happens if you're a corporate sponsor for five thousand or ten thousand or twenty thousand we didn't we only came up with like corporate sponsorship levels of five and ten mm -hmm. so we want to incorporate what acs is offering in addition to our five and ten. so like sarah's to figure out the placing of that and i actually think we need to talk about that content. right Con that I content more it. but besides that the book is done yeah i'm um, happy with it and typically I, i'm like really hard on myself and like pine over things and so i feel really good about it I did a lot of research on like looked up a bunch of our old YouTube videos to get probably snippets of like running first training in 2018 different races I've run to get like other shots of snippets of video for like our our explana explanation video that we're gonna that I'm gonna make and I wrote out like a script of what I want to say but I need Sarah to read that and like we're obviously gonna modify it because it's like very rough it took me five minutes to read but we're gonna shave that down a little bit I think and but like I also am gonna have like Plan pauses and stuff because it's going to be like a story. A it's a well, it's more like a story. It's turned into like the story of 
how we got like why we started running mm-hmm. why i started running what we do it for for both our health and for acs with the connection to your dad and him being a runner to bring it back and how right is you're only talking a mile a minute but it's yeah. like it's been going through our gears yeah so it was good to talk to them but now it's like late and our sunday's yeah. coming to a close so i think so we're gonna knock out what an episode or two of prop culture at least, at nightmare least. Before Christmas. yeah and then we'll see if we're gonna go to bed tonight after that oh gosh this is called <laughs> air hearts i apologize i know we just got off to like oh we have to go to bed then my sunday i just kicked it in over dad this is called a sunday i just party oh we got all kinds of dip snacks this is v8 i'm gonna put some seagrams in there can you share it yeah we can share it thanks i love you i love you too also who saw the glitch in our vlog the other day when we were on cell phone footage that was crazy i have no explanation for it sorry the camera is far away if you didn't see it go back to like when peter's petting eve two vlogs ago and um there's just like black bars somebody asked like somebody commented and i was like what happened major case of sunday itis we watched two episodes of prop culture today is may 3rd quote is by timothy leary whenever in doubt relax turn off your mind float downstream Ooh, that's exactly what i needed today um yeah, I got major Sunday. I I don't want to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> the extra cute pup. Ready for bed? <laughs> you ready for bed? So, there's a chance we might finish this book out tomorrow. I think we're going to send probably what we have. Mm-hmm. If you can get that tomorrow in like a format we can send over to ACS earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, just to get the, their, other design work. in their hands to see if they can even edit <gasps> before we finalize those like company sponsorship things. And I mean, you can start going over what I'm thinking for the video. And film some shots. Yeah. Make it so much fun. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.